Howdy tubers. Just a quick uh, road test here. Um, not sure if this is going to work or if it's a good idea. But uh, yeah, I've got a decent commute every day. Um, and not much time to make videos, so I figured I could make uh, just some ramble videos to and from. Tested it this morning to get a shout out to Dungeon Master Mark, who is an awesome cat, and I needed to get a shout out to him. Uh, so I tested it on my way to work. Figured I'd give another little test on the way home. In my previous video, the shout out, I realized after I got to work that uh, the entire time I said stalagmite, and it is indeed stalactite. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I think as a society we should just move forward and call them stalactops and stalagbottoms. You guys on board? Maybe we can start this in the gamer community. Go! As of now, 2013, stalactops, stalagbottoms. All my geologist friends will be thrilled at my stupidity. Uh, anyway, I, it wasn't stupidity. I knew the difference. Um, I guess it's still stupidity. I fucked up and said the wrong thing the whole time. If that's not stupid, what is? Regardless, some uh, community questions. Uh, tech at the table. Do you allow it? Uh, not meaning genre-based tech. I mean like actual... Uh, you know, resource management, assistance, spreadsheets, what have you. Uh, tablets, laptops, desktops, abacuses, abacai? Uh, that sort of thing. Do you allow it at your table? And if you do, what are you using to help you? What programs, what uh, websites, uh, Obsidian Portal, that sort of thing. I've got my own feelings on the subject. Um, but I'll do that in a response if anybody responds to that query. Uh, the other query is to traveling GMs. Those GMs have got to go from the lab to the lair. You got to you make all your terrain and NPCs and whatnot at home, and then you've got to get that to where uh, you game at. What are your methods for that? Uh, do you do it on game night? Do you do it uh, surreptitiously throughout the week when the person who you play at is not home? Uh, whatever. And third uh, community question is canned adventures, uh, modules, adventure paths. Um, until recently, not much experience with that myself. We've always done homebrew. Until the last couple of years, we've been doing uh, these uh, Paizo Pathfinder adventure paths, which we enjoy. And uh, I guess in some regards take less prep, but in other regards I think take more. Like if you're doing freeform homebrew and you've been with those in that world with those players and with those characters, it's kind of easy to just not get caught off guard or not as easy to get caught off guard. But again, that's my own ramblings and feelings. I'll do those in a response. I'm just curious about uh, other GMs. So those uh, three questions out to the community. Do you use tech in your games? And if so, what tools? Do you pause because the road is more important than a YouTube video? Yes, you should. Um, do you travel? If you travel, how do you get from the lab to the lair? And number three, do you run canned adventures? And if you do, what is your prep like for those sorts of things? That's it. I've got to uh, make a stop, but uh, I'll see you later.